Well, the long process of rebuilding from the flooding continues in the hardest hit town of country town and country neighborhood in Sand Springs. County officials met with homeowners there tonight to talk about how they can start rebuilding. News on Six's Justin Schreyer is live with the story tonight. And county inspectors have gone through more than 140 homes devastated by the flooding tonight. Many people learned what's next, but as the rebuilding continues, people tell me that it's all easier said than done. It was a packed house at this church as people who live in the town and country neighborhood learn what's needed to rebuild. A little overwhelming. I mean, uh, we kind of thought we were good. We had the least water of anybody I've talked to, and so. I just didn't think we were going to have this problem. Pam Shipley says she and her husband only had about 10 and a half inches of water in their home, but now face having to make substantial repairs. They're saying we are going to have to raise our house by two feet above the floodplain. I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> Shipley says the good news is that she and her husband have insurance. The bad news is that everything in their garage will now not be covered. County Commissioner Karen Keith says while they can help people rebuild, the reality is there's not a good outcome for anyone. I mean, I think all of us can put ourselves in their shoes and uh, just how devastating it is. Some people don't have flood insurance and are unsure where they'll find money to rebuild. But if there's any silver lining, it's that Oklahomans always help one another as the long process of rebuilding lies ahead. We just want to do everything that we can to help them. And everybody's gotten to know each other and everybody's helping each other. And we do want to remind people that FEMA is set up here at the Case Community Center with experts and resources. Live in Tulsa County, Justin Schreyer, Oklahoma's own News on 6.